found a patch of gold nuggets in the area behind me here. So keep watching, you're gonna love this video. So today I'm with Bailey again. Hey. You're gonna have some fun, fun gold. Heckin' rights. Heckin' rights, mate. So I don't normally film this part because it's a, it's a long way down, but today I'm just gonna give you a bit of a tour. You guys want a little longer video anyway, so here we go. It takes just over an hour to hike to the river from where we park. It's important to pack light because whatever you bring has to come back out. <sighs> it's beautiful out here. Super warm, but scary at the same time. Bears and cougars are a real hazard out here, so it's also important to carry a stick. So this tree here is what you would call deadfall. A lot of people who'd be walking through the forest would just lean on here, but look how loose it is. It's very loose, and it's even rotting at the bottom down there. So if you put enough weight on this, it could fall and really hurt somebody. So it's very important you make sure before you touch a tree, you look at the tree and make sure you're not touching any deadfall. And just like that, we are here. So this place here looks really good to me. I spotted this spot the last time I was here, but I was on my way out, so I didn't get a chance to look at it. Like I always say, you gotta make sure your feet do not get wet, because if it gets wet, then you're gonna have trouble getting out of here, especially if you get too cold. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my metal detector and really look over the bedrock here before I use the detector in the water. The goal today is to do some metal detect sniping. So wearing my wetsuit, sniping under the water, and using the metal detector to my advantage. I don't know why, but I have a really good feeling about today. <laughs> so every time I plan to detect on a sniping day, I end up detecting for about six minutes, then I just get in the water, which is exactly what happened. Normally, when you first get in the water, you have to adjust to the temperature for a while before you start looking. I decided to start right away and it paid off. So our first piece of gold is actually a little nugget. That's awesome. <laughs> Now because I just found gold here, it's wise to clean out the crevice it came from. Unfortunately, nothing else came from it, so maybe this one? You guys aren't gonna believe it. I found my first picker today. Woo! Oh, whoa, whoa. That's it right there. You can kind of see it a little bit. <laughs> now that Bailey found his first piece of the day, it's time for me to find my second. Sometimes you gotta move a lot of rocks to get where you wanna look. And sometimes the more work you do, the better the results. Once I got down to bedrock, I didn't notice any cracks or crevices, so I looked around for a minute, then carried on. I really want to take advantage of the low water levels here and access the deeper spots because there's a better chance of finding something incredible. The chances are still quite rare, but there's a chance. Nice looking crevices underneath this log jam. This is not really the best place to be dipping your head underwater. The last thing you want is to get stuck under here. So log jams aren't your friend. It's something I touched base on in my how to snipe video. This jam, I noticed had nice bedrock below it, but it's something I'm not going to attack today. Time to move up the river. Okay, I'm gonna try this area. Our second piece of gold is another nugget. Also the biggest nugget of the day. <laughs> Here's what that piece looks like because I clearly can't hold a camera. That piece looks to be about a gram. <laughs> Obviously, since we just found gold in this spot, it's a sign that there might be gold nearby. So it's best we clean her out. Ooh. 
It was really hard to get all the material out because the bedrock was so fractured, I kept making the hole deeper. I could feel that every time I used my scratcher tool, I kept breaking up more and more bedrock. I just blew off another little piece of gold. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it with all that fog though. I noticed bedrock to my left and right, so I punched a hole straight down, and right as I started uncovering the bedrock, I found our third gold nugget. Okay, now it's the biggest nugget of the day. I just love how gold looks underwater. It's so bright. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to fit in the bottle, though. That's not my first nugget. Woo! That's so exciting. <laughs> if you ask me, that looks like a gold pocket. The nugget's out. Here it is. Right there. It doesn't focus very well, but... That's a freaking, that's a nice little piece right there. Holy <laughs> My lips are cold. We got another picker. <laughs> so I just found our fourth nugget. Now, I don't know how big this one is. I can only see the edge, but it's pretty thick. So for sure, this is gonna be nice. Since I can't put the camera in this crevice, this is as close as I could get. Okay, that is our biggest nugget of the day. Right next to it is nugget number five. I cleaned out this crevice, but after finding nothing else, it was time for a quick break. Okay, having a little break right now. Just trying to warm my hands up a little bit. Both of my gloves are pretty destroyed right now, but that's what you get for sniping. We are not doing bad at all. We already found four nuggets in half the day. I know Bailey's further downstream. I'm assuming he's doing well because I heard him scream and he was waving, so hopefully he's doing pretty good. Oh, he's actually right there. So how are you making out? Pretty good. You happy? Yeah. I heard you scream a couple times, so I'm imagining you found something. Yeah, I found my first nugget. Your first nugget? Yeah. Nice. How big do you think it is? I don't know. Probably a gram. Huh. Oh, high five. Nice. Do I see yellow? Oh, I see a lot of yellow in there. Oh, that's good. I don't I don't know which one the nugget is because it's too dirty, but yeah, we'll yeah. Show, show each other stuff afterwards. I haven't worked a lot of area, but I'm being super thorough. Yeah, well, I've only been past that log and I found four nuggets yeah. already. <laughs> Four, nice. yeah. I, I forgot the top layer to my wetsuit. Oh yeah, that's a two-piece wetsuit. Yeah. And the other piece is, I think, at my house, but No, yeah. I have it. I just forgot to pack it. Oh, you forgot to yeah, pack it. Ah. Forgot to pack. Well, at least it's sunny, so that's good. So since I'm working upstream, I believe I'm causing a lot of fog for Bailey, so it's harder for him to see. But he's still finding gold, so that's what counts. All right, so with all that being said, let's get back in. On. It's a good sign that heavy materials are dropping. Now that Bailey and I have been in this area for a while, it's getting harder to find places to look, but mainly because it's just getting harder to see. <laughs> and right here, although I'm pretty quiet about it, is when I re-sprained my wrist lifting this boulder out of the way. Luckily, I'm a black belt in using my leg arms. Seriously, I even made a video panning with them. All right, just found our fifth nugget underneath this log jam here. I know, I wasn't gonna work here, but since Bailey's right here, I thought I'd risk it. I don't know if that's a good spot for the camera, but whatever. <laughs> While I stayed in the same area where I really couldn't see anything, 
Bailey explored up the river where it was more clear and he continued to find more gold. All right, time to check out a new spot. Look at that waterfall, sweet. All I could really do was use my left hand at this point, but it was fine because I could still find gold. So this spot is really hard to work. It's really hard to see. There's lots of overburden going down and I keep getting tangled in all these sticks here. I'm gonna try not complaining because we found five nuggets so far. I just found a couple more small pieces of gold, but they're under this, this overhang and it's gonna be really hard to film. I like to keep my snuffer bottle underwater when I'm working so I don't have to get out every time I see a piece of gold. And I really have to start bringing my flashlight along because it sucks not being able to see the bottom of a deeper crevice. Just having a break. <laughs> Trying to relax my, my leg arms. So once I gave up, I floated upstream to catch up with Bailey. All right, I'm gonna try to finish off this one crack and then I'm calling her a day. I'm getting cold. <laughs> While he was laying there working this spot, he must have been very still because I walked right past him and didn't even notice him. I even went up the waterfall to look for him, which you can see on his camera. This is awesome. Found anything else? And once we met up, we both decided to call it. All right, so Bailey and I are both calling it a day. We kind of just walked around afterwards and we didn't realize how late it's getting. So now it's getting late, so we're gonna hike out of here. But before we do, we're gonna compare our nuggets. <laughs> so Bailey here, he found some gold. I didn't really get to see it yet. So he's gonna dump out his snuffer first and then I'm gonna dump out mine. So he's gonna dump in the pan, but I can't look. I'm not supposed to look. It's supposed to be a surprise. So here is Bailey's loot. Oh yeah. That looks really good. You got some real rough pieces. Look at yeah, that guy. That's a nugget. That's a real nice piece. Looks like an asteroid. Huh. That's cool. Another nugget right there. Beauty. Oh, good job. Thank you. What do you think that weighs? I'd say maybe a gram or something. I'm yeah, not I'd say a gram. gram. Maybe just under. Nine ounces. Under gram. Yeah. All right, let's dump up mine. So I'm doing my reveal now and I didn't really get a good look at my gold yet. But uh, I know there's some nice pieces in here. Yeah. <laughs> Nuggets, baby. Wow. Got quite a few in there. That's crazy. I didn't realize some of those other pieces are actually bigger than they were. It was just so hard to see. But yeah, some big chunky bits. That's a nice piece right there. Wow. Look yeah. That. This is a nice thick one. That's probably about half a gram. This is my asteroid piece. I feel like that's... A gram, but no, it could be nine ounces. It's like a wedge. Yeah. So let's go to the house and weigh it. So here's the candy we found. Not tea bag. Me and Bailey both found a lot of gold today and uh, I'm actually quite happy with this. I found seven nice little nuggets, including some fine pieces of gold. If you want to see what Bailey found, you're going to have to watch his video. He's new to YouTube and his channel is Bailey Adventures. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, let's weigh it. Starting with our little nugget number one. Point hundred, huh, point one one. Our second biggest piece, obviously seven pounds. Point one eight, our third. Point one eight, point one. <laughs> Number four, uh, point four. Point two six, I was way off. Nugget number five, the thicker pieces. Point five zero, that's what I was gonna guess anyway. Number six is a nice piece. This is a piece of gold that was laying on its side. It looks so much bigger underwater. I'm gonna guess that's probably just shy of one gram. A 0.68, so kind of close. Piece number seven. This is our biggest piece of the day. And uh, I don't quite think it's a gram, but I'm gonna say one gram of gold. 0.78, ah, I've been off. 
Now to weigh everything, including the small bits. 14 pounds, 2.88 grams. And overall, it was a successful day.